We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go, go, go. Jesus said to go.
just finished making all the invitations for our big party. We're inviting everyone to come. My neighbors, friends from church, school, and my cousins. And it's a lot of people. So, I made a map to plan my deliveries. I need to get an invitation to every house on the map. These are my neighbors. They live right around here. So I can ride my scooter to them. Some of these invitations have to go a lot further. Too far for me to go on my scooter. Hmm. I know, I'll ask my mom to drive me. Everyone buckle up. So I can take these on my scooter and these in the car. But what about my friends? How am I gonna get these to them? They don't even live in town. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Sorting invitations, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm sending out all of our party invitations to all of our friends everywhere. Well done, Zoe. Good for you. Jesus went to people everywhere, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm just fixing this bubble machine for my friends in the clubhouse. They need it for a party they're having. <laughs> I've got my invitation right here. We're all invited to the party. Hey, that reminds me of today's story. <laughs> oh, do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible starts with a well. A long time ago, people would go to a well to get water. They didn't have sinks or refrigerators or water bottles. If someone was thirsty, they had to go to a well for water. And guess who was thirsty? <laughs> Jesus. He had been walking a long way and was tired, so he sat down at a well. A woman came to the well to get water while Jesus was sitting there. The woman looked at Jesus and knew that they were from different towns. Jesus asked the woman, Will you give me a drink? The woman was surprised that Jesus asked her for water because she knew people from her town were not friends with people from his town. So she said, Why are you asking me for a drink? But do you think that where she was from mattered to Jesus? <laughs> no, of course not. No matter where you live, Jesus wants to be your friend and loves you very much. Now, let's pretend that Jesus is having a party. <laughs> who is invited to Jesus' party? Do you think people who live where it's really, really cold are invited to Jesus' party? Yes! What about people who live where it's really, really hot? Are they invited to Jesus' party? Yes! What about people who live in very tall buildings? Are they invited to Jesus' party? Yes! What about people who live in small buildings? Are they invited to Jesus' party? Yes! <laughs> no matter where you live, Jesus wants to be your friend. And Jesus loves you. Everyone is invited to Jesus' party. Jesus loves everyone. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who does Jesus love? 
Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loves everyone, everywhere, including me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, Jesus loves people from different towns. Jesus loves people everywhere. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Good! I'm so glad we're inviting our friends from everywhere! Hey! I know we can put these in the mailbox to get to the next town. I need to go find some stamps. I'll see you next time!